Um, so this is that field and a couple of observations. So you sort of need the two plots together. I mean, this is a map of the field, and there are multiple platforms, right? So it's in the Gulf of Mexico. So there's multiple platforms, and the circles uh, and the squares are plotted uh, along this line. So the different shades of circles uh, and squares and triangles all correspond to different wells in that field. And this is the depletion curve, time history, right? So from uh, the mid 80s until 2001. And first of all, you can see is a significant amount of depletion, right? So from 80 megapascal when it was brought into production till 2001, it was down below 20, right? So something like a 60 megapascal change. But uh, the fact that all of the wells, so if you just sort of follow the circles, right? So here's a a white circle, a white circle, a white circle, a white circle, a uh, gray square, gray square, black squares, tri black triangle, black triangle. Uh, the sort of interesting thing is that they all follow roughly the same depletion curve, right? And so what that indicates is that where the wells are drilled, the reservoir is highly connected. It's, it's not compartmentalized in any way. So, um, so they follow this depletion curve. And so then if you look at, uh, if you look at some, the, again, this, the measured stress path um, during this time from 97 to 2001 on this reservoir space plot looks like this guy, right? And there wasn't, there wasn't, uh, you know, the, the if you go back to where it was originally brought into production, like around 80 megapascal. If you go back to where it was originally in the early, in the mid 80s, it was brought into production. And the pore pressure was around 80 megapascal. Then, uh, now there wasn't any SH min data back then, so you have to extrapolate this line. That's not always a great thing to do, but if you do, I mean, if you say this extrapolation is valid, then what you can see is that when the well was produ into production, it was very, very near the critically stressed state. So at that point, you had active faulting, active normal faulting at the moment of the well was brought in, the, the field was brought into production, but over time, you moved away from it. Right. So in this case, uh, the way this is plotted, anything below this line, uh, the way this is plotted, anything below this line would be active faulting. Right. And so what you actually, in this case, you moved away from active faulting. So in this particular case, the depletion helped you, right? I mean, in, in the sense that there's less faulting or you're certainly not promoting it, therefore less danger of, of failing casing and other things over time. So that's one case study uh, with this Gulf of Mexico field. Um, there's another one, uh, the Valhall field in the North Sea. I think this is actually in the Norwegian North Sea. And I have no idea why. Um, if, you, if you notice, there's, there's uh, some missing symbols, the, the flank. So this is, um, this is actually an anticline formation. So do you know what anticline? Right, it's uh, you probably remember from your geology class. It's sort of a formation that has a, a fold like this, right? And and this is called the crest, right? And this is called the flank. And in this particular case, there's uh, active faulting along the crest, normal faulting along the crest, um, and so what you don't, what you can't see in the plot for some reason is there should be, and if you look in the book, there should be a whole bunch of kind of pluses in this region up here, indicating that on the flank, uh, you're sort of in this region where it's safe. However, there's a lot of data along the crest that's below this line, which indicates fault promotion. And in this field, there is, it's been notorious for casing failures and also gas leaks. 
uh, gas leaks where gas is escaping, um, you know, escaping the formation through the no normal faults that are being promoted uh, by the depletion. So this is sort of another case study that is kind of the opposite case of the Gulf of Mexico where there the depletion uh, actually helped or brought you away from active faulting, whereas in this case it, it promoted it. 